So I woke up early today. Um, well, early for me, I go to bed pretty late sometimes. But I woke up like 5.30 this morning just because um, my dog wasn't, wasn't feeling too well. He woke up, my dog's very old. Um, he's um, 17 in our, in our age, human years. 17 human years is pretty old in a dog, in dogs. So I just came downstairs, I, t I, um, I comforted him. I'm gonna have to put him to sleep. Um, that's very hard for me. Every time I'm thinking about doing that, um, he gets better. You know, like the other day I thought, okay, well, this is the day I'm probably going to have to say bye to him. And he, then a couple hours later, he got up and he was playing and, and running around and eating. And I'm like, okay, so then it, it's been going on like that. And then, but I think this is probably it. This might be it because, um. She's very strong. She's been with me forever. She actually belonged to someone else before I got her. I think I got her when she was um two years or old. three years old, and she was with a lady. Um, her name, my dog's name, used to be Mimi, uh, uh, Asian yeah. lady, and she used to work a lot. And she had a few dogs, and she lives in. And she used to stay in the condo. I mean, the dogs used to stay in the condo a lot when she was out. And, you know, she'll leave food and, and something for them to pee. So they hardly went outside because the reason why I know that, and she told me that too, but there are house dogs, uh, Maltese. And the reason um, I knew that was a true fact, because when I got Cotton, I named renamed her Cotton because she's white and fluffy and she had a lot of hair. As she got older, she lost that hair. Um, yeah, so I'm up early taking care of um, my little Cotton. And yeah, so when I used to take her for walks, I noticed she didn't know about walking much and she would not use the bathroom outside or the grass and she was afraid of the grass and things like that. So then after a few years, I, you know, I trained her. I got her to be able to go to the bathroom outside, um, not be afraid of outside. She's still a little afraid, scared of outside. Um, but, um, you know, so she's been with this family for a long time. My kid, um, she's like my my child. So here she is. Cotton. My baby. Baby, hi. This is, this is my cotton. How you feeling? Hmm? How you feeling, baby? My big, my good girl, be strong. I'm going to get someone to come to the house and um, make you feel better, okay? I don't think you're going to bounce back this time. Do you know I love you? I love you unconditionally. Hmm? You know I love you unconditionally? Yeah, so, um, yeah, so we're downstairs. And, um, I brought her down because it's quiet down here. and She looks like she's doing better down here, but I'm going to try and get someone to come to the house, a, a vet, um, to euthanize her. I, I, w I would rather, to be honest, I'd rather if um, Almighty God will just take her. Um, I know I don't, I don't really like the taking animals or anybody's lives before it's time, but like, you know, animals, I guess. They suffer, and um, not my first dog. My other dog I had to euthanize. I had that other dog for 18 years also. So I take good care of my pets. I love them to bits, and love keeps them strong and happy. Um, cotton. So I spoke to the vet, and he says that he'll try and get here um, later today. Or tomorrow. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. And the poor little cotton is not feeling too well. And um, so we're going to have to put her to sleep. Hey, baby. Mommy's going to have to put you to sleep. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, we'll take care of you. Don't worry. 
yeah, so that's my, that's my Saturday. Um, it's really hard. Like these animals become your, your family, especially if they've been with you for so many years. Um, as she got older, um, she was more sensitive to stuff. So I kind of stopped sending her to get her groomed because she didn't like it anymore. Um, so I would groom her myself. Not a great job, but it's still better than her being tortured, um, because she didn't like it after a while. I guess she got older, more sensitive and everything was scaring her. And then she lost her sight, um, a few years ago, maybe a couple years ago. And that happens with age. <sighs> so guys, I'll keep you posted on what happens to my little baby cotton. Um, like I said, I wish the angels will take her, um, maybe so she's not suffering, but, um, if that doesn't work, the vet shall come to the house because I want her to be with family and, um, I'll try and vlog that if I'm not too emotional. Yeah. Thank you for listening. And I, I know a lot of you might understand what I'm going through. And yes, it's hard. Love you. In order to be happy, guys, you have to love. Stay blessed. From paradise. I love you, sweetie. I'm sorry. You know, you've been a really good dog over the years. Total blessing, Cotton. You've been a blessing. I know I mentioned to you guys about um, how sick my dog was and that I've had for 20 years. Um, and that I was looking for mobile veterinarian doctors to come here and mutinize her, put her to sleep because she was doing so well. And just this morning she went downhill, you know, she's, even though she was old, she was fun. She was active. She was lively. And this morning she went downhill and, um, I just came downstairs to check on her. And I, I ask God to please take her so I don't have to be, to put her to sleep. And um, I came downstairs and she's right here. She's sleeping. <sighs> she's sleeping. And um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm holding this right. But here she is, comfortable, and she's gone. My baby's gone. <sighs> Praise God. She's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God, she's gone. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. cry this ugly cry but it is so hard but I had her for 18 20 years 18 20 around there because I got her at two so she's like 20 when she was two I mean and um and my biggest thing because I searched everywhere to find the right way to put her to send her to heaven, but and I prayed this morning, and I go, God, please don't make me have to make this choice. Please come and get your angel. It's your soul. You put the light into her. Please take her back. And when I woke up this morning, I seen some spirits, and I 
they look like angels of of the past because they came and i knew that she was going today and i knew they would come get her but i still searched but i knew she didn't have too long and play with her and my other dog flash in heaven take care of cotton oh my gosh cotton you're in heaven right now you're probably somewhere in this house. It's my baby. Ouch. You can get her face, but... <sighs> it's my baby. I love you, Cotton. I love you, sweetheart. You are the best dog ever. You kept me safe. You barked loudest when she barked. 